So coming to the Concordia Language Villages will allow you to live the language. You're not going to be sitting in a classroom with a book and be instructed in maybe the traditional classroom way. When you come to the Concordia Language Villages, you're going to experience the language through every activity that you do, through the foods that you eat, through the dances that you learn, through the songs that you sing, through the games that you play. Everything you do here helps you learn more about your language. Teaching a world language, we're also teaching how to be a global citizen. And being a global citizen means you need to communicate with people who you don't know. And just our social interactions are so important and we need to be able to practice that. Well, in my classroom, I have them for 46 minutes. And for some of them, that's the only 46 minutes of their day that they do the language. So when I come here, they get to hear Spanish in the sessions, out of the sessions, all day. It's truly an immersion experience. My students, when they come to Valtze, they get to see what we've been practicing in class, working on in class. They get to see it work for real. And they get to play. They get to play for the four days that we're here. Fun is the vehicle for everything. Fun is the way for everything. And if you're not obliged to meet grades or go to other classes, and you're supposed to be playing all day long in some way, we're playing because we know that playing works. And if you can get three days of fun in a row, what they are gonna remember here versus what they're gonna remember from an in-class activity that's gonna seem artificial, because it's attached to school in the classroom, it's gonna stick longer and they're gonna to wanna to come back to it. I think I would just listen to what the kids say when they come back. I know lots of kids, they start speaking in French to their parents when they come home because they're so used to just responding back in French that they get home and they start saying things like the first thing that comes out of their mouth is something in French. And even after a weekend, just a you know Thursday night to Sunday morning, really, even in that short amount of time, kids think that's really cool. Especially for those kids, the ones where maybe the academic French at school isn't their strongest thing. This is a great opportunity to say, you can learn too and you can be successful. When we dance, we're actually learning with the language. So we have a, a counselor who will stand on the stage and describe what she's doing, which is great for vocabulary. We have right, left, different body parts, what are we doing? Connecting the movement with the language is great for kids who are kinesthetic. And then of course singing, which helps with fluency and pronunciation. Those are all wonderful activities that we do here. I like the variety of activities. So some of them are calm, game type activities, some kind of craft or cooking. And all of those just daily activities, but in French, is what helps you to acquire the language in a real setting. We here write books, We We The authentic food, I like dumplings, buns. We will eat congee for the breakfast and we have like spicy tofu. I've learned lots of Chinese activities. I think I learned a lot of things, like how to deal with different learning styles of students. This, I feel like, gives them the desire to travel and experience these cultures even more because they get a little bit of a taste and then they want more. Every one of my kids can go back and talk to the next level who's coming up. Every year, I bring my 8th graders and they get to go visit the 7th graders and they get to show their pictures and they get to sing their songs. They get to tell their stories about camp life and that's what's worked for me and that's why um, more and more of my students have been coming is because they've been connecting with students that are a year older and sharing those stories and so that's very motivating for my youngsters. The Concordia languages are so about inclusion and understanding and acceptance. Everybody matters and so this idea of community is very evident here at the Concordia language villages. Everyone fits in. Everyone has a place. Everyone can thrive here.